Hi, I'm Rob Swift. Today I'm in a 2014 Airstream International Signature and we're going to talk about the fantastic vents in this particular camper. This camper has two fantastic vents, one located in the front, one located in the rear in the sleeping section. And these models have the temperature feature and the rain sensor feature where it will close the outside door when it senses rain. We'll go through each corner. Um, this corner is the temperature sensor, so you can adjust where the fan comes off and on based on the temperature that it's sensing. And when you cross the threshold of, of where it's at, you hear a nice audible click and know that that's where it's going to come off or on. This corner we have the um, speed control, one, two, or three, or zero. Keep in mind that zero is actually also acts as like a power button when it's in zero. Nothing else works. It cuts the power to everything. So if you're having trouble and the other buttons don't seem to be responding, make sure you have it in at least one. Um, this is an on-off switch for the fan itself. So you can have the outside door open, but actually have the fan off. And then this side, there's a switch for opening and closing the outside door or changing the drive itself from electric where it's doing it automatically. If you pull straight down, you can actually turn and do it manually. Um, once again, as a, a troubleshooting, if uh, you hear the motor running and nothing seems to be happening and this is not turning, double check this, make sure it's pushed up and clicked and engaged so that everything works. So we'll start with operation by making sure that our speed selector is in one and hitting the open switch and you'll hear it start to open that lid. And as soon as the lid is open enough, um, the fan will kick on on its own. Once again, of course, assuming I've got the temperature setting right, which I may not, I'm going to turn it till it clicks. There we go. And the fan comes on. Speed selector, one, two, or three. There is no reverse on this fan. It only draws air out. Um, the temperature selector is here and the rain sensor is on the outside. Once again, if it were to start raining while this were on, if you left the camper, it will close the door and shut off the fan on its own. Um, you can turn the fan off in a number of ways. You can turn it off with that switch. You can turn it off by setting this to zero. Um, or you can also turn it off by just hitting the close button. and the door will come back down and the fan will actually cut off as soon as the door gets low enough uh, because it knows it doesn't want to have to fight itself trying to suck air through a, a closed door. The last thing I'll say um, about this vent is that uh, periodically you will need to clean uh, the blades and the screen itself and the screen does come off. You can pull here and there are plastic tabs which I'm not going to do right now. It feels, it takes a little bit more pressure, there you go, than you might uh, seem comfortable with. But they do come off and it will, and you can snap it back and take that off for cleaning. Thank you very much for watching and uh, I hope you tune in and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos on how to use your camper.